Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, let me guide you how you can uninstall the WSL from your Windows 11. So recently I uh, performed or basically I created a video where uh, I showed you how you can install a, a Linux application, as a, how you can use a Linux app as if it is Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. Last time, uh, I guided you how you can install or how you can use a Linux application as it is a Windows native application. So, in this tutorial, I must guide you how you can uninstall the WSL or how you can get rid of the Linux application on your Windows. Apparently, it is using a bit of resources of your computer uh, still it is Linux so it does not come without consequences so in any case uh, if I have to go ahead or let me just do the search for if I have to search for text editor you will see that there is the text editor of uh, Ubuntu which is available inside Windows 11 so you can see it is taking a, a while to launch and this is the editor I installed this application inside here so now I must uninstall it so how to uninstall it there are two ways the first method is you have to right click on the uh, toss menu sorry on the start menu and choose apps and features from here you have to uh, find uh, or simply search for the uh, WSL since since uh, first we have to install the Ubuntu because we don't need that so you can see that it is 2.67 GB so click on the three dots and choose uninstall and now choose again uninstall it can be also performed through the uh, PowerShell or Windows Terminal 2 but for now since it is Windows 11 many people are using uh, the graphical user interface of it so obviously we have to use this one and then for the next thing we have to uninstall the uh, WSL so again you have to search for WSL now you can see that Windows subsystem for Linux preview is available here so again click on the three dots or call more options and choose uninstall again choose uninstall and it is preparing the WSL to uninstall uh, from your computer uh, so here you can see that you must restart your system for the configuration changes made to the Windows subsystem for Linux preview to take effect. Click yes to restart now or no if you want to manually restart later. So for now we'll have to manually restart later. So before going further there are some things that you must know. Apparently uh, whenever you uh, if, if you remembered on the last video I guided you that uh, the moment you type uh, WSL dash dash install it is going to install the default uh, Linux distro which is called Ubuntu on your system however aside from that it is going to uh, enable the virtual machine platform uh, there is also the uh, Windows subsystem for Linux and the uh, required files such as kernel it is also going to download all those files from the internet so I also told you that they are part of the Windows feature. So once you did, or I mean once you restore your computer, you have to search for Windows feature. F-E-A T-U-R-E. Yeah. When you search, you will notice that there is turn Windows feature on or off will appear. You need to click on that. So this is the panel. Here you can see. Windows Virtual Machine Platform is checked. However, we just uninstall the Windows subsystem for Linux. Let's let's find out and check if it is uninstalled. So you can see that it is not uninstalled. My point is, when you restart your computer, you will notice, or you have to manually come and disable this to right away from here, and then click OK. Again, your system is going to restart, and everything will be OK and will be done easily. So for now, let's uh, go to the PowerShell method which you can use to uh, uninstall the WSL uh, in your Windows 11 or Windows 10 machine. So as you can see, uh, these guidance is available inside here. Everything is good to go. And 
this is the graphical user interface method however if you are interested in the terminal method that is also available it is an article from pure infotech which i am interested in they have written it quite well and i like it it is both available for windows 10 and windows 11 uh, at the same time if you scroll down you will find out the uh steps to uninstall any linux distro so as you can see these are the graphical user interface however if you are interested to uh, remove it using the command prompt this is the command you have to execute winget and install it is going to uninstall uh, that so following that you have to type winget and install and you need to mention the distro name so it is really simple it's going to uninstall the uh, Linux distro that you have installed in your computer. That is the first method that you can use using the Winget. There's also the other method, uh, which is the WSL itself. These are the commands and register it and everything is good to go. You get the idea what do I mean? But overall, the graphical user interface uh, seems a bit more clear, easy, and it is powerful enough to do the job of removing the WSL. You get the idea. So for now, uh, I am going to restart the system uh, and I will, uh, it means I have to end the video here. But once uh, I restart the computer, I will, if there was any point, I will record it again. If there was any point, so it is done. But in the meantime, subscribe the channel. As I said earlier that you, after restarting the computer, you have to check whether these two options are checked or not by default they are still so we have to uncheck those two options and click ok and restart the system so click ok i mean uncheck the boxes and now click ok it is uh, for searching for the required files to be removed and applying the changes yeah so you can restart it right now or choose don't restart so this is the process of how to uninstall the WSL from your windows. I hope this, order, this video has been helpful to you. So have a nice day. Goodbye. And I will meet you guys in the next video.